Peter from Alt 5 Sigma this morning, congratulations on becoming the CEO. What made you decide to come out of what, semi-retirement and get in the game again? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've been uh, just dealing with private companies the last couple of years, but after, after meeting the team, looking at the platform and reviewing what they've done organically over, over the last five years, um, you know, quite frankly, it's very difficult to say no to an opportunity like this. I mean, this team is so talented. They built an incredible platform, their dedication to their customers and support. I um, feel privileged to be part of the team. Absolutely. Well, I'm fairly confident that the numbers may have had something to do with it. For those of you out there who may not know who Alt 5 Sigma is, we're going to tell you about those numbers. But Peter, if you could first tell the audience who Alt 5 Sigma is, please. Yeah, so All5 Sigma is part of the crypto ecosystem. There are two, uh, two parts of their platform. They, they uh, process payments through a product called All5 Pay, and they have a proprietary uh, built from the ground up platform for institutional trading of crypto assets. And of course, if you have been following their news, your transaction volume for the first eight months of 2024 was 1.25. Two five billion, and in August you hit one hundred and ninety two million. It's my understanding we have September numbers for those. Yeah, so September was uh, September was, was was a good month for sure. Um, I just joined the company back in August. I was impressed with one hundred and ninety two. Uh, you know, we're human beings, right? So as humans, we always think about century marks and how important they are to us. You know, we multiply things in our head by tens and hundreds. So to have them break 200 million in September, and I mean break it, they, they did 240. Uh, to break 600 million for the first time in a quarter, which they did in this quarter, uh, three as well, and to surpass the 2 billion annualized run rate, again, they blew through that. Uh, all to happen in the same quarter, I mean, we're pretty happy about, about the results and the uptake and, and our customers keep coming on board and bring us additional business. For those of you that have probably had your ears perk up with those numbers, what is Alt 5 Sigma doing right in these markets that a lot of people are complaining about? What do you think makes you different from the rest? It's a great question. Um, so there's a lot, but you know, I'll look at the two platforms separately. The one thing they both have in common, the user interface is really simple. And you know, for those who uh, are listening for the first time, you know, there's opportunities on our website to get demos of, of what we do. When you look at how simple it is to complete sophisticated transactions, um, behind the scenes, that's where the magic is, right? The heavy lifting is done by our software, not by you as the user. And that's what makes it so powerful. Um, you know, you're a few clicks away from, from being able to convert any pair you want you know, fiat to crypto, crypto to crypto, um, and administer all that with just a few clicks of your button, and we will do the heavy lift for you. Well, of course, since you have joined the team as a CEO, you just announced a plan to separate into two independent publicly traded companies. So this is kind of a good story and a surprise and additional bonus for anyone who's currently a shareholder for Alt5 Sigma. Yeah, so you know the company was Jan One uh, was the was the name of it up until it it rebranded itself as Alt Five. I joined the company recently, but the board's been looking at the biotech side of the business and and what to do with that for quite some time. Um, we dug into it, we looked at it, and you know as you can see from our numbers, Alt Five obviously deserves the platform, but the Jan One product um, has been recast. A new company, Alia Therapeutics, will be spin out of the company to a standalone business. And, you know, quite frankly, you've got a, a drug candidate that's completed phase two clinical trials, has FDA designation as an orphan drug, and is ready for its phase three pivotal trial. How do you not give it its own platform and its own opportunity to move forward? So I think the separation um, became very obvious very quickly for us. 
So considering what a rapid fire start you've had to the to your role as CEO for Alt Five Sigma, what can investors and shareholders anticipate in the upcoming quarter? So you know we're we're young as far as being public. So guidance is not something we're we're giving just yet. Um, we're doing our best to keep our investors uh, informed. You know, using the transaction volumes, you can look at our historicals and draw your conclusions as to what that equates to as far as revenue goes. But as far as overall in the business, what they can look forward to is we exited the quarter in a really, really good shape. Um, a lot of this is just, you know, all five have been out there for the first time, truly, truly introducing their wares to people and starting to get this network effect. You know, they went from going to trade shows and asking people to come meet them to being fully booked before they land um, and spending the entire time basically bring, dealing with incoming opportunities. So I think that bolds well for us and what Q4 is going to look like, the velocity is picking up. And I think you hear lots of interesting things about Aliyah Therapeutics as well as they start to tell their story. And, um, you know, for us as a company, I mean, we're, we're really excited of the opportunity that's that's here for our shareholders. Usually I ask Peter clients, you know, what should we anticipate in the upcoming quarter? But I think you've done so much in this quarter since you started. I'm going to recommend that everybody go to your website first to learn more about Alt 5 Sigma. And we're going to get you in an interview with Pat Bolland here in a couple of weeks. How does that sound? Sounds good. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Tristan.